the squeaking has returned. Not sure why. Since I tightened everything, I was able to. Had, had to get some grease to fix the Diamondback BMX. Took out the axle. I ate cassette yesterday, and now the bearings won't go back in. I like AutoZone's pickup though. AutoZone, Lowe's. And Bed Bath and Beyond. Every time I've done them, they've been and the, the items have been ready in the one to three hour range. Whenever I do Walmart, depending on the time, it can be three to twelve hours. So it's nice. That it was ready so soon after making the order. Yeah. This one is an easy auto zone to get to because go down my street towards downtown, make one right, and then I just follow it the same street until I get on this side of the freeway it's technically street wise uh, road wise it's the same street but name wise it changes from Solano to Springs so I'm glad they opened this location a few months ago. The other locations aren't bad. One's like 15 minutes away. Across the street from the Goodwill I went to last week, uh, two weeks ago I think it was. Across the street from that shopping center, one of the auto zones and then the other one is like 25 minutes ish. So, not bad. But, in a situation like this, when it's getting dark soon, this one is this one or the one that's across the street from Goodwill, the more favorable ones. Time wise, if they're not the same, they're similar enough. If I went to the one by Goodwill, it would all, depending which way I went, it would be all straight away or d downhill or just a few small inclines going this way. Going to this one, it's all straight away. Except for this overpass I'm about to go over. Otherwise, it's just straight. Which is also convenient. I want to ride the diamond back. I was gonna see if I could switch it. from a cassette single speed to a fixed gear cassette but it was more involved and the only fixed gear one I could find online was like 150 and it might it's a micro so it might not fit that wheel but or it's the whole hub, I can't remember. 
I think it might be the whole hub. If it's not alone. If it's not alone. So there was that. So I'll help figure it out. I just don't want to mess up my shoes. Since I, I might do the other pair that I got. These ones so far have been good. I haven't worn the other pair I got from the same guy. I was trying to keep them since they were in pretty good condition. They were in good condition when I got them, just a little dirty. I was trying to keep them locked away. Ugh. I don't know why this is so annoying. Going up this top overpass. Partially because they made it higher, but whatever. The squeaking is related to isn't helping. I thought before I tighten up the stem that I would do it, but apparently not. I barely even <laughs> loosened the nut on the headset, so. I don't know what it's related to or if it's drive train related I just can't tell could be drive train related guess I'll see you tomorrow the cockpit cockpit is a little wobbly when I use the brake but otherwise, no worries. So I don't know. And more exciting news, I might be a dog owner again. My dad randomly mentioned to my mom this afternoon he wouldn't be opposed to a second dog about the same size as their dog. So we'll see. We went to the Humane Society. They're supposed to be open for two more hours because we got there at 2.30 on the dot since it's like 10 blocks away from our house. So very close by car. And they were closed. They were supposed to close at 4.30. Well, I don't know what they're doing because they have a... electronic gate chain link fence gate that you have to put a password in and it's open when they're open for obvious reasons they're not going to make people punch it in because they're not going to give that away but then when it's closed it means they're closed so i don't know about that it was a strange one